January 6. Christ our teacher. We know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. John 3 2. There was no doubt that Christ was a teacher come from God. Some teachers come evidently enough from man, they speak only of earthly things, their speeches are full of quotations, they imitate, in voice, manner, and method of stating truth, some commanding human teacher at whose feet they have sat. But there was a freshness, a self-witnessing truthfulness, a depth, and authority in the words of the Master, which bore the mint mark of deity. Our Lord addressed Nicodemus as the teacher of Israel, John 5:10 Revised Version. Jesus taught with authority, Matthew 7:29. This was the verdict of the people. He needed not to quote Gamaliel or Hillel, because the conscience of his hearers said, He speaks the truth. He taught with tenderness and sweetness, Luke 4:22. To those who resisted his words, as the Pharisees did, his tongue was a sharp two-edged sword, but for the sinful, weary, and heavy laden, grace was poured on his lips. He taught with plenty of illustrations, Mark 4.34. From all quarters he gathered them, from the sky and the earth, from the vulture and the sparrow, from the lightning flash and the sunrise, from the household candle and the temple lamp, from the woman's dough and the ripened corn, from the children's games and the housewife's jewelry, from the feasts of the rich and the bare larder of the poor. How picturesque and beautiful his talk was! The apples of gold were in pictures of silver. His speech was full of windows through which the light poured. What wonder that the people thronged around him, and hung with absorbing interest on his words. But we must come to him as Savior. Before we can understand his teaching, we must be converted, and become as little children. To us, he says, as to Nicodemus, ye must be born again. To reverence him as teacher will not avail, until the soul has cast itself in the dust before him, crying, Have mercy upon me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. There is a marked gradation in the teaching of Jesus. He began by speaking about earthly things, and led his disciples on to understand heavenly things. He gave milk to babes, but to those of understanding, hard and deep things, as strong meat. How differently he taught the woman at Sicker's well, and the disciples in the upper room. Prayer Give us grace to perceive thee, blessed Lord, to hear thy voice and to receive the gracious teaching which comes from thine heart. Amen.